Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's go ahead and use the bridge circuit to find an unknown capacitor. Notice we've replaced the inductors with capacitors now. On the left side, the capacitor reactance is 1 over j omega c. On the right side, with the unknown capacitor, the capacitor reactance will be 1 over j omega c sub x, c sub x being the unknown capacitor. Again, if we adjust the circuit appropriately, if V1 equals V2, if the voltages on both sides here are equal to one another, then there'll be no current flowing through the bridge. On the bridge portion, the current will go to zero. And that's how we find the unknown capacitor. These are the equations we used when we had the general impedance equations. Notice that this was Z1 and Z2, this was Z3, and this was the unknown Z sub X. So those were the equations we used initially when we had the general uh, format of the bridge circuit. But now when we adjust it for capacitors, we're going to replace Z sub X by X sub C and Z3 by X sub C, or I should say X sub C sub X and Z3 by x sub c. So v1 is going to be equal to the source voltage times z3 is going to be x sub c divided by z1 which is now r1 and z3 is x sub c. On the right side we have v2 is equal to the source voltage times z sub x which is now going to be x c sub x, the unknown uh, capacitor reactance, Z sub 2 is now R sub 2, and plus Z sub X is X C sub X. Now we use the principle that if we adjust the X sub C, the known capacitor, and the frequency and everything, and the R, the resistances appropriately, that we get the current here to go to zero, that's when V1 equals V2, we can then set the two equations equal to one another. We can say that V1 is equal to V2, which means that V sub S times X sub C over R1 plus X sub C is therefore going to be equal to V sub S times X sub C sub X divided by R2 plus X sub C sub X. Right away we realize that the source voltages cancel out on both sides. We cannot cross multiply. On the left side we end up with R2 times X sub C plus x sub c times x sub c sub x is equal to, on the right side, we get r1 times x sub c sub x plus, we multiply this, we get x sub c times x sub c sub x. Notice again on both sides of the equation we have the similar term that cancels out. And now we have r2 x sub c equals r1 x sub c. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace x sub c by 1 over j omega c. So we have r2 times 1 over j omega c is equal to r1 times x sub c sub x is now going to be replaced by 1 over j omega c sub x. Again on both sides we have a j omega in the denominator, they both cancel out. And now we're going to solve for c sub x, so here we have c sub x is equal to C, goes to the other side, this C didn't get cancelled out, so that goes over here, times the ratio of R1 divided by R2. And there is the equation we need to find the unknown capacitance C sub X. You should also notice that R1 and R2 are now reversed. They are no longer what they were when we used inductors. Inductors we had L sub X equals L times R2 over R1, but since the capacitor reactance is the inverse in 1 over j omega c, you notice that the result of that is that R1 and R2 will now be upside down or will now have that inverse of that ratio compared to inductors. And so that's how we use the bridge circuit to find an unknown capacitor.